Uh, Dusty Donnybrook here, boys. And today we got Hobby Box number two of Upper Deck CFL Football 2021. So this is box number two. I did open up a uh, hobby box already of this stuff, and uh, had, it's pulls from it. You can see right there. It's a fun open as a football fan, as a card fan, as a card collecting fan, but especially as a fo football fan, especially as a Canadian football fan. Um, this is actually just a lot of fun to open this stuff, so you're not really going to get your value back out of it. You can um, with some of the cards. You get like the one of ones or one of the patch cards, which I'll talk about in a second. You definitely can get your value out of it. Um, but for the most part, just fun cards. This is worth about like 50 bucks, I think, you know, Seven bucks, three bucks, so you don't get a whole lot of it. But anyway, you get three hits. You get six cards per pack, 16 cards in the box. There you go. And three hits. Last time we had two uh, two autographs and a patch, which was a nice hit. And, um, yeah, hopefully we get something like that. So uh, in here, we are going to get a 200-card uh, base set uh, with some parallels of the base. There is 165 to red. You basically get those in every single pack that doesn't have anything else in there. Uh, at the very least, you're going to get a 165 red you're also going to get gold 50s and black one of ones. Of course, you're also going to get autograph cards and the game day patch cards or game worn patch cards, game used patch cards. You can also get OPG Jumbo jerseys and patches that are numbered. And of course, the big nice chase card is the CFL logo patch one of ones. So those will be the nice cards to get. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We'll cut into this bad boy and uh, open some Upper Deck CFL Hobby Box number two. So here's your base and uh, standard stuff. Uh, it's a nice, kind of a nice matte finish to it. Not super shiny, which actually is kind of nice, kind of different. So there we go. So we got Jalen, Jalen Acklin, Malik Irons, John Ryan, kicker for the Riders. Nice. And there's our first red parallel of Tanner Dahl. So 125 of 165 there. First parallel. We do have decoys in them. And upside down behind the decoy, we got James Wilder Jr. and Cody Grace, kicker for the stamp years. Of course, these are last year's cards, so some of these guys maybe not even on the team anymore. Who knows, right? I I I watch all all the Ryder games. I tend to watch the other team's games if they're on, but uh, I don't really pay that much attention to all the players on the other team. So there's gonna be some Ryder guys where I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's on the team anywhere. Anyway, Juwan. Skin. There we go again. So this is Brett Lowther. So Ryan is the punter and Lowther is our field goal kicker. AC Leonard to 165. All right, so we're getting our rider content out of this. AC Leonard to 165. Again, they're upside down behind there. And then we get Dietrich, Dietrich Nichols, Brandon Dozier, and Jimmy Camacho. There you are. So our nice to 165. So we're already hitting better rider stuff, which is nice. All right, Andrew Harris. Devontae Dedman, Chad Rempel on the uh, Elks to 165, Dominic Rimes, Declan Cross, and Mario Alvarez. So another 165 so far. Like I said, the uh, the red parallels are pretty much the standard, what you get in all the packs if you don't hit anything else. All right, Aaron Grimes, Jane and Tolliver, Mika Teets, and... There's a 250 of Lewis Ward, so kicker for the Red Blacks. So there's our first 250 parallel. Ottawa to a season opening victory over Edmonton on August 7, 2021, making three field goals and an extra point in a 16 12 win. Yeah, classic CFL. It's a field goal fest. There you go. Lewis Ward to 50. Behind that, we got Jeff Richards and Quaco Botang. Bo so we got Brady Olivieri, Carell Brooks, Hugh O'Neill, and a base pack. Yeah, it looks like it's just a Shaq Evans and Jamar Wall. Looks like a, just a base pack there, right? All right, so we'll take the two off the back here this time. Do it a little differently. We got Darius Williams, Ed Ganey, another name for the writer. Aryan Calhoun, Arjun Calhoun, Deontay Evans, Evan Johnson, and we got another rider. There you go. Jonathan Woodard to 165. So this box is definitely making with the rider contest. So we got Nick Marshall, Eugene Lewis, Ryan Davis, a Mark Ambles to 165, McLeod Bethel Thompson, QB for the uh, Argonauts, and Ricky Collins Jr. So got Stanley Bryant, Chris Aki. I mean, it's another, there we go. All right. So it's our first autograph of Chad Rempel. 
Boston. Three months after his 40th birthday, Rumpf began his 16th season in the CFL with Edmonton Elks, who had signed him to a contract in June 1st. So, 40th birthday, you gotta love that. That guy has played forever. He's a long snapper. So, again, it's a position you can probably do as a uh, older person, because a long snapper doesn't get hit that often, right? He's doing some blocking, so... There you go, so that's pretty cool. Set him beside Willie there. Got David Beard... Jamar Jordan. Oh, all right. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> uh, what are the odds of that? So we got the patch of Weinke, and now we have the jersey. Well, this one is definitely not quite as nice. Not quite as nice. That's kind of funny. I get that. That happens to me a lot. I pull the same players all the time. If you watch some of my other videos, I keep pulling Rupe Hints in the, in, out of Artifacts. And, yeah, Winicky, uh Winicky was good last year in 2021. He hasn't had a great season this year. Well, Levi Mitchell potentially coming to the Riders. Not sure how I feel about that. Dante Barber. Or sorry, Dante Absher. Brandon Rovenberg. And I'll get a backwards card. And here's our other autograph. Dominic Rhymes from the BC Lions. So, so autograph number two. So nice wide receiver. One of the one of the more better known wide receivers for the BC Lions. So that's a nice autograph. So that's most likely our hits for the box here. The rest should be probably just numbered cards. Braden Lenius, Brandon Banks. We got a Jake Mayer. So backup quarterback to 165. Adam Big Hill, Trevor Harris, and our checklist of Adam Big Hill and Andrew Harris, which I think I have to look back as a checklist I got last time. I think. I don't know why Upper Deck thinks I'm such a such a Jake Winicky fan. Winicky, Winicky, I think is actually how you say it. Shango J, second checklist, Trevor Harris, and Hennick Mumba. Maybe this is the one I got. I don't even remember. Anyway, so there's Jalen Tolliver to 165. More backwards cards. Nick Garbuckle, back up in... Uh, back in Toronto there. Sean White and Nick Garbuckle. These faster now because these are just going to be... Sean White, Brandon Alexander, Mike Moore, 165 of Adina Lewis Pickett. There, DJ Cunningham and Tim Pajardo. Some more writer content. We'll just rip through the base cards here. So there's our second to 50. James Butler, BC Lions. Schaefer Baker, and the rest of the base. Let's see what we got for number cards here. So another to 50. Oops. Hit the hard. 50. All right, last pack here. Jamal Campbell. There's Lambert and Andrew Harris to 165. All right, so there we go. There's our uh, hobby box of uh, Upper Deck CFL 2021. And uh, one thing I will say, uh, the boxes, at least from what I've seen, are pretty consistent. So between the two boxes, two autos, patch or jersey card, um, and it seems like in both boxes you get sort of like a questionable auto and then a better, more high-quality player auto. This one actually, <coughs> I just looked up his stats uh, he's second in receiving this year, receiving yards in the league this year. So his stock is definitely going up. So that's that's a nice one to have, actually. So and then you got your base parallels here, the two to f two number to 50, 20 to 50, 38 out of 50, and then all of our red parallels here. And uh, it was nice to actually get some riders this time. Last box, I don't think I got a single rider out of it um, that was numbered or short print or anything like that. So um, nice to get two action. AC Leonard's a good one. AC Leonard's pretty... Very, very excellent. Here. Anyway, um, so yeah, and, and you know, I will say the, the the hits were good in this one. Uh, this card, it's this card. If this, if I had only hit this card without having hit this card last box, I would probably be disappointed. But the fact that I have this card and then to pull that card second is just hilarious to me. It's just what happens to me. I just pull the same guys again and again and again. So that just makes me smile, which at the end of the day is what makes this all worth it. So uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know. Um, I don't think I'll open another one of the 2021 anytime soon. Uh, the 2022 uh, set is coming out supposedly at the end of the month, so I'll definitely open a couple boxes of that. But I think I'll wait for this box to uh, go on sale and buy them at you know clearance prices if I'm ever going to open any more of them. So which I probably will. They're they're a fun open, especially uh, at discount prices. I was looking actually on. Uh, eBay at some of the older ones, and you can get like the 16 season for like 60 bucks. So that'd be a pretty fun one. So I might, in the meantime, snag a couple of those. In the meantime, while we're waiting for the uh, new set to come out, so 
uh, and waiting for the price to drop on this one. So yeah, stay tuned for uh, more hockey card breaks coming all the time. Uh, try to put out a few a week, so those will be coming, and uh, maybe stay tuned for some more football ones, especially at the end of the month. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you in the next one.